what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zuff and today we are back with season one episode nine of succession this one is called prenuptials obviously with the title of this episode and last episode being tom's bachelor party the show has been building towards tom and shiv's wedding for a while now um not sure if we're gonna get it this episode but i feel like it will be by the end of the season but yeah talking about tom's bachelor party from last episode what an experience that was roman was the one who was supposed to plan it i think they were supposed to go to Prague. that all fell through roman came through with his backup plan and it was just like this it looked like a pretty cool party that i think stewie knew about and yeah one of the funniest moments in the entire show <laughs> happened last episode yeah. with tom uh and i'm not gonna get too into it because it's pretty graphic but if you know you know so i was telling so many of my friends about that yesterday <laughs> hilarious it's so good um but yeah there's as always so much drama and split just like a split relationships between the family specifically i'm thinking of kendall and roman right now they were both trying to talk to uh, what's what's his name again? The Sandy. Sandy. Sandy Furness at that party, and both had completely different agendas. Roman's trying to buy like local TV stations off him, and he was literally just entertaining it. That's it, just entertaining it. And then when he walked away, he's like, "We'll like, use him for let, a bit. Let's just keep messing with him, pretty much." And on the other hand, though, Kendall is apparently going to be going in with Sandy to try to take over like like buy, i think buy the company um because it's like losing value so then join forces with him and then i think uh sandy also said stewie but then kendall's like nah fuck stewie like just be us and i'm gonna be ceo and all this stuff so i mean at the, at the end of the day it's the roy way it's something a roy would do so you can't really like fault him for that i guess like that shiv's whole situation is going against her dad too so the only one that's not really going against their father is roman i mean connor's irrelevant in that regard mm -hmm. but yeah yeah kendall also is uh bringing that one company down uh got sh he got denied an offer dust yeah so he is taking that company down i want to see them go down i think that's a a big point i think they stress those two characters a lot last episode so seeing the girl get mad at kendall very very uh i can accept it but i want to accept this company going down more for being mean all right guys so that's pretty much it before we do get into this episode if you have been liking all the succession reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out with all that being said we're gonna get right into the episode succession season one episode nine prenuptials let's do it we're in the uk we're arriving at a castle Oh, for the the wedding. Oh, because yeah. their mom's in the oh, UK. Oh, she did say that they're gonna get married in England. And Logan's not gonna be there. Yeah, he said he's not coming. Another setting change here, Zuff. What are the odds that he makes Let's a freaking go? What are the odds he makes a surprise appearance though? What are the odds that uh, Tom Swallows come again? Wow, <laughs> low. <laughs> you don't know. He loved it. Is it gonna be his own? Yeah. <laughs> he would call his dad daddy. Hey, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I love him so freaking much. I can't wait till Nate's not in this show anymore. What if he stays in the show? I'd be surprised. He just seems like one of those characters that just won't be alone, around for very long. Oh, I looked up what we know oh, I Gail knew, from. What is it? I knew we know him from something. He's in Uncut Gems. Oh, okay. I haven't watched that. But also, he looks a lot like Anthony Bourdain, which I was going to say before, too. Is it possible your father is the worst human being who ever lived? It's very possible. Take him out. I want to destroy ATN. I'm not sure that's wise. Guys, would you have a problem with that? <clears throat> you got yourself into a little mess here, Shiv. I mean, he said he's going to take her father down in the interview. He agreed. Yeah, I think that she just doesn't agree with the way he's doing it. Which, I don't know, I feel like he should trust Shiv. She's smart. 
He wants to take him down too. Come some details. Like what? Like you as CEO. What do you <laughs> they don't want Kendall as CEO. Probably just Stewie. But I mean, do you want me to ask? I'm just curious to see if she's gonna come. He's back. not showing up, bro. Jerry, I don't want to ask. He's so ridiculous, bro. She comes crawling, then I'll think it over. Fine, okay, I get it. Who's there? Going <laughs> about the bad thing in cruises. You know the thing that meant you couldn't sleep. Oh no, no. He wants to use that as firepower against Logan. I, no, I don't. No, I just think. No. I just think you know church and state and and ACDC. And what? She wants to use what? Like the death pit, his death pit knowledge. Oh. She wants to use that, and then hand it over to her senator. You know, if it's bad, well, the longer you leave it, the worse it will be when it comes out. Yes, unless. <laughs> I bet it's not even that bad. Uh, it is quite bad. Don't do this to Tom Shiv, please. He's already fucked him over in many ways. Bad luck, soldier. Oh, come on. She can't be that bad. Mom? Yeah, just don't look at her directly. Yeah, they're hello. talking about their mom. Hello, hello. Here you are. <laughs> I knew you'd hey, arrive eventually. <laughs> what? Hello. Is that the girl? Oh my god, it is. Which one? Oh, From the party! Oh! No. <laughs> Roman, Why would he do that? Roman, you are evil, bro. Have you guys met? Have you all? <laughs> <laughs> so, should we go and play Happy Families? Yes. Because Tabitha, you guys all met? <laughs> I think he's. He. Uh, I think he liked her, though. He did, yeah. I really appreciate you coming over here. Okay. Hey. No worries, hey. my. Travel agent special. Greg. Greg. Collingwood. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, Your Excellency. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a little misshapen egg. I did. Yeah, I did hear tell. <laughs> what? Uh, whoa, whoa, okay. How's your mother? Uh, good. Okay. A lot of information. <laughs> Your bachelor party. No, the one who put the cum <laughs> back in. <laughs> <laughs> the one who sucked your dick and made you swallow your own load. Hey, so listen. Mm -hmm. You know the Canadians, right? Nope, he's telling Frank. Would there be room to wet the beak of an old pal in such a situation? Frank, yeah, too soon. Let's get Frank in on it. Uh, sometimes when you were absent, they used to refer to you as the calamari cockroach. <laughs> That's crazy. I think it means they think of me as a cock ring made from calamari. Frank, it's pretty. <laughs> Prick's too busy to attend his own daughter's wedding. Okay, family rift. But we Do you guys know Brian Cox is British? No. Who's Brian Cox? Logan. He looks like it. I don't know. I feel like he really embodies this character. I believe it. Great actor. He reminds me of a. Uh, President Snow from Hunger Games. Do we just fuck it? There's no way out. I mean, if you want to go, I don't. Want to. He wants to go. But there's no other <laughs> way out. He wants to go. Just how he is. He can't admit it. Well, we can do whatever you want us to do. Ego. So now I hear he is coming. No. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, it's fine. Just hope you won't forget about me. When your father arrives with the head of Marsha. Yeah, Marsha. You kind of dip. You know. Oh, wow. What a sweet little scene that must have been. Their mom reminds me of Rebecca's mom. Rebecca's mom. I was mom just going to say that. So, Is yeah. it her? It might be her. I was just gonna say that too. I've been thinking it literally since we 
saw her, but I just haven't built up the confidence until now. <laughs> I think it's like her, I don't know, like her teeth or something or her mouth. It's the way she talks. I'm like, eh, is that her? What'd she call Rebecca? Delicious. I forget. Stinky. Rebecca Pooh. Well, it's delicious. It tastes like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Sorry. Get him out of here. Both their affairs are here. Obviously. Nate. Well, right. I just wanted to say... Oh, no. They're both talking to the uh, affairs right now. Well, I've heard very little about you. What can I say? Best man won. What? As in, <laughs> there, you won the shiv off, pal. Good luck. What a weird thing to say. Ancient history. Means. Oh, right. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, I see. Right. Oh, okay, okay, maybe she did. Right. Maybe she did. Uh, okay. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> what the fuck is that conversation right now? I'm in Shanghai together. And he's a dick. Uh, well, he's okay, but he has a certain dick. I think I've mentioned to him. She's getting real, like, j jumpy and antsy and shit. Visibly. Guilty. Am I, am I a total jerk? Do you, do you really want to do this? Because we don't have to. I'm glad he's asking this question. What level are we on? Are you fucking around with me? Mm. You know, I can... I, there are vibes. Very oh. clear vibes. Two colleagues are close. <clears throat> DC loves gossip. No, sure. Sometimes there are rumors and people, they're not fucking, but sometimes they totally are. Honestly. It's real. Uh, I'm fucking around on you. Uh, There's no confidence in that. Oh. If you want to know about the secret no. cruise line stuff, I'll tell you. Cruise line. No, no, no. Right? Tom. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a horrible trade off. Oh, and there's Kendall, still doing drugs. Bravo. Frank? And Jerry? Well, we were just saying that I think the first time I came here was back when you guys were... Was Frank uh, spilling the beans, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Maybe, uh, yeah. Right. I don't know why I would benefit him, though. Because <clears throat> yeah, he's not in the company. They bring him back. Yeah, still. I mean, at least Tom knows that she's just straight up telling Gil. I thought that that was, was going to be a secret. And inside to sign the paper out, Greg. Greg. Yeah, just thought family would be safest in Greg's expendable. Damn. If I give you the details, you could really hurt. Me. Yeah. You're not gonna let me get hurt. It's gonna be the headline: Tom Wom's game. <laughs> She's gonna hurt you, and she lied about cheating on you. So. So. Oh, Logan. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Man's got to make an entrance. Come on. Forbidden fruit. Nate. Nate? And you think I used to concentrate on you? Nate's... Bro, chill. Oh. Greg. But Greg's like scared of Tom. <laughs> Is he gonna go tell him? Come on, Greg. Absolutely. When's the last time they spoke? Uh, Austerlitz. Another little smile. What about 
about it, son. You want to jump out the trenches and play a game of soccer? Can I bring you some corn to get you through the winter? How you doing? What's the news? Oh, keep him busy. <laughs> He's taking the company yeah. over. Little? You want me back? I'd like to, uh, like to put that in a press release? I'm just a lovely guy. <laughs> 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 He's so evil, but like it's so so good at being evil. Did he mention the launch? Does he know that I've accelerated? He doesn't Roman. He doesn't care. Honey? Hello. Oh. <laughs> That's all Roman is right now. Oh hi, I'm Stewie. So how long do you give it? Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, uh, I'd say forever. Or until she goes away for the week. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Not a little prince anymore. Don't rely on Sir Talkie of Fuckchester, please. He's good, Stewie. I don't know. I don't know, Kendall. Ah! Is it Mr. Fuckhead, I presume? <laughs> what is it you got against me? You're the one making it personal. I'm just trying to do my job. Think of everyone, not just myself. From the projects can jack off on my time. That's the issue, I'm afraid. Well, what I find that a very fuck? reductive. I don't even understand what they're saying. <laughs> like, they're just words to me. Might be your last good one for a decade or so. Hmm? Oh, Shiv. The crew situation. Oh. I don't, know what I don't even think he knows about. about that. Yeah, sure. Well, you might soon. Unless. Oh my god, dude. This is gonna be bad. Who's like, if he happy? Shiva, you don't understand, Marsha. Well, I know when I see a spoils. Oh. Excuse me? Tu entendu? Damn. What the fuck? Who are you? Apart, I mean, apart from a, a machine for gathering power. You don't know. It can be. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have you ever had a fucking a grapefruit without a, an agenda? <laughs> you think it's a whole world? Well, let's be foutre. Go out. And see how you like it. You just got shot on. Oh, what is this? Uh, just a chat. Right. It's your wedding. Why do I feel like I'm about to get fucked? <laughs> Jobs, personal stuff. Gil's wife. You want us to stop attacking him? Poor nickel fragile president. <laughs> I got, I got Sandy on the line. Sandy? He can tell you. Uh, you can say. Stu, what's with the theatrics? Oh, Mr. He was just there. Where'd he go? You're not going to say? Seriously? <laughs> just tell him, Stewie. An acceleration. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Fuck off. This weekend. What? Oh, at, at my sister's wedding? Are you in? That's crazy. For fucking funerals? Hello? Oh, there you go. Hello? Hi. Yeah, he told me already. No, absolutely not. No way. No, no. Fuck this. To me. But you told Frank Vernon. I, t I, t I, I hinted. We've been contacted by a reporter. Oh. Good times. Your dad's out of the loop in the UK. We catch him off guard. I, I need to... Uh, it's now or never, Kendall. Uh, I, 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 Sandy, I need prep time. Shh, you can't make an omelet without breaking some dicks. <laughs> what That's does that mean? mean? Thanks, kid. Motherfucker. Your dad's rival for a reason. That dude's ruthless, too. <laughs> Frank just snaked. Everyone snakes. Kendall was dumb to tell Frank. This was for old times. Uh, no? What about you? You want to smoke my J? <laughs> <laughs> Her papers and stuff, sorting through some shit. And uh, turns out, uh, Shiv, you're a doctor. Yeah, I knew <laughs> it was going to be some shit like that. It's got to not be so easy for you to be on the outside seeing me do big Oh, no, 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 no. 
You're about to make it easy for him, Roman. <laughs> the last time we're gonna see them happy is siblings. <laughs> Shiv is like no. Right. I think she's having an affair. No, you're wrong. Hmm. I mean, not. Shut up, Greg. Shut. Up. Well, no, because I, I, I no, you, you are. You are wrong. You're wrong. So, so we're all good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he tried, man. Greg tried. You know no, you I don't want to hear anything, Greg, because it was a misunderstanding. Okay. Well, I saw what I saw. You shut didn't... up! I just said shut up. Shut the fuck up. All right, but I think. Shut the fuck up, Greg. I'm trying to help you. Shut up, will ya? Fucking shut up, dude. What the hell? Oh, no, fucking shut up. No, oh, God. no, 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 no. Just shut, shut up, man. Yeah, I shut, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? He just doesn't want to hear it. You know, I was quite outraged when she suggested this. What the hell? But doesn't that deal feel so much better? And I don't think either of us want to get dirty. <laughs> Everyone knows we're gonna win. But Logan just made some sort of deal with Gil. Have you met? I think it was a deal to. Make sure Shiv doesn't release the white, the true stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was like a money deal or anything. But the way that ended, I don't think Tom was going to show up to the wedding. I just feel like he was, I don't know. Greg approached him. I think he didn't even need to hear what Greg had to say and already knew like, yeah, she's probably cheating. Uh, if Greg thinks she's having an affair, I thought she was having an affair. It's probably not uh, a coincidence. So, I mean, I'm super sad for Tom. We knew this was going to happen. I don't want him to continue with her. Like, it's just not fair to him. Uh, she's just not treating him well. I mean, he's just the perfect. He's just treating her perfectly. Like, I don't know. I hope Tom has like a good ending in all of this. This is I'm just super sad for him. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next episode. It's the season one finale, and it's going to be the wedding. Just so much stuff is happening. Obviously, like Zeph said, the, the actual couple that's being like getting married is very unsta unstable right now, and not a lot of trust there, at least from Tom's side. But also, this whole Kendall thing's going to go through, and like a lot of people at the wedding are part of the company or affiliated with the company. So... It's just gonna be a shit show. Like it's gonna ruin everything. I feel like, uh, like I don't, I don't know exactly the whole like business of how it works, acquiring this company or buying out the company or how, whatever they're doing. But um, they seem to be pretty confident in what they're doing. I wonder if they buy it though. If the whole like deal that Logan just made goes off the table, because I feel like Gil and Logan made the deal. But what if like Kendall takes over? Then would he just spill the 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 tea about the cruise line stuff or what i don't know i honestly if they knew to amp the like them the takeover sooner i bet you logan probably already knows about what's going on because if frank knew he probably told jerry i mean frank is the one who spilled the beans to someone jerry probably would have told Logan, so. I, I don't know though, because when they were trying to do the vote of no confidence, Jerry didn't say a word, neither did Frank. I do think Frank told someone though, and that's how people know, but. Or fucking Stewie did or something. I don't know. I don't I don't trust anyone, honestly. It could have been anyone. Um Yeah, I'm fully expecting just a, a complete blow up next episode. Something similar to what we saw at Austerlitz when they were all just like being real with each other but honestly I'm, I'm expecting it to be way worse this time around um I, th I feel like the whole the siblings meeting in their old childhood spot like together having that hug is definitely significant I feel like it's a little foreshadowing that that might might be 
like their relationships might be coming to an end at least in that way like i could see there being some serious serious beefs after what kendall is about to do especially between him and roman um but uh yeah i'm just really excited to see how this wedding is going to play out the whole season has been building towards this moment and uh knowing this show i just feel like it's going to be completely drama packed like it's gonna be crazy all right guys well that's pretty much it for this episode if you have been liking all the succession reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check all the check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we'll see you next time for the season one finale peace out